welcome to Holy Sacraments. Today we have an episode on Holy Splash Zone talking about the origins of baptism and what baptism means to all Catholics. So now we're going to ask some pedestrians on the street to see what they know about baptism. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I have a question. Okay. I wanted to know um, if you knew about baptism. Um, is it when you take the bread? Can you speak louder, please? Is it when you take the bread? <laughs> the bread? Oh. No. <laughs> Let's try asking some other pedestrians what they know. Oh, look, here comes a runner. Ma'am. 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 Do you know the origins of I'm baptism? I'm right now. Do you? No. The you Holy Spirit. That was wrong. Okay, so we've already asked two people about baptism questions, and they didn't know anything. Let's try one more person. Oh, look, someone in her car. Ma'am? 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 Who's on the baptist? Isn't he the pizza? Really? Concerning the origin of baptism, Christian theologians suggest that although Christian baptism may have been widely used by John the Baptist, baptism itself did not originate with Christians or for that matter with John. The origins of baptism might have been found in the book of Leviticus where the Levite priests were commanded to perform a symbolic cleansing in water before and after performing their priestly duties. Leviticus 16.4 tells us, he is to put on the sacred linen tunic with linen undergarments next to his body. He is to lie the linen sash around him and to put on the linen turban. These are sacred garments, so he must bathe himself with water before he puts them on. Forms of baptism are the sign of the cross. The sign of the cross symbolizes that we are children of God and we belong to the church. After the sign of the cross, the priest asks the godparents or the adult being baptized, what do they ask of God's church? They, in return, will say that they want faith from the church. As baptism continues, the water is blessed and the celebrant calls on the Holy Spirit. During the blessing, the church asks God that through His Son, the power of the Holy Spirit may be sent upon the water so that others will be baptized and it may be born of water and spirit. The child or adult being baptized then has water poured on their head or is immersed in water. With the immersion or the pouring of water, the person is introduced to a new life with Jesus. As the candidate is being immersed in water or the water is being poured, the celebrant says, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. After the child or the adult is anointed with consecrated oil, this anointing symbolizes the special coming of the Holy Spirit to the newly baptized. Matters used in baptism, oil symbolizes strengthening for the struggles of life ahead. Baptismal candle represents the light of Christ. Water, it cleanses us from original sin. For adults, it cleanses every sin prior to baptism. White garment represents new life in Christ. And we're back with Holy Splash Zone. And today I'm with Neliana Mendes. And I'm going to interview her. And we're back with a different dog. So, Neliana, what would you, do you know any like other religions that have uh, like a ceremony equivalent to baptism? Buddhism? Oh, yeah. It has uh, karma and nirvana. I really love that band. It goes like da da da. Dun, 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 dun. That, what, that really, that really has I mean, nothing. It's no. okay. We, that, that really has nothing to do with any. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, we are here with Maria Martinez. Hello, Maria Martinez. Hola. Okay. So, I was wondering if you knew the similarities between the Jewish bris and baptism. Eh, los dos tienen Jesús, la Iglesia, la Virgen María, los Santos, oraciones. Okay. Sí. Sí. The equivalent to a Catholic baptism is known as the Jewish bris malaya. In bris, people are initiated into the faith as a baby, unlike Christianity who welcomes all ages to receive baptism. In bris, a drop of wine is put into a baby's mouth, while in baptism, catechumen oil is used on the head of the baby. In the Jewish bris, they use a circumcision pillow as a gift, while in baptism, babies wear a white garment. They are similar because they both have the usage of godparents. In the Jewish bris, they have the sandak, the kavaturin, and the kavater. Th these people represent the godparents. While in baptism, we just have godparents, who are usually our grandparents or just a close family relative. 